Hello everybody, I'm Shuja from EgTechEasier and in today's video I'll be showing you how to easily crop audio files in OS X10's default audio app which is iTunes. Now I've seen many people having a difficulty in searching and downloading a good app for um, Mac that can easily crop or trim an audio file. Cropping an audio file is useful if you want to remove extra sound from the beginning or end of an audio file or if you just want a small portion of a sound file to use as a ringtone. You can also use this technique if you need to divide a lengthy audio file into smaller parts for whatever reasons whatsoever. Um, so to use iTunes to crop an audio file, open your audio file in iTunes by right clicking on it and selecting open with iTunes. So once okay. iTunes is open, right click, uh, make sure you have the file in front of you, right click and select get info. Here in the options pane, enable the start time and stop time checkboxes. Enter the time portion of the audio file that you want. In this case, I'll take uh, 1 minute 8 seconds as the start time and 1 minute 38 seconds as the stop time. Once you verified that, uh, make sure these two checkboxes are ticked and press OK. Now, um, what iTunes will do is essentially reduce the file length down into 108 to 138 which is the specific time portion we mentioned. Now the original file will remain the same, iTunes will just play it in the short length that you've mentioned. Um, the 30 second file as we mentioned as we uh, entered into the time portion. Now to create a separate file uh, with this reduced time, right click on the file and select create AAC version. Once that's done, iTunes will ring a kind of ding sound which will signal that uh, the new version has been created. Now this new version will be exactly the time that we've mentioned. As you can see, this is 30 seconds. It will start from 108 and it will end till 138. So once that's done, remember before, um, before you end, right click on the original file, get info. In the options pane, remember to disable these again, so if you want to listen to the original file, you can easily. This will bring the original file size back to its original length. And that's it. Now you have an easy way to crop your audio files. Be sure to check out our other videos for more tutorials like these. And if you want to use this cropped audio file as a ringtone, we'll be creating a video for that soon. And we'll be sure to mention and link to it in the description below, so check it out. This is Shujar from Make Tech Easier, and be sure to like the video if it helped you out.